Now, the next thing we want to talk about is how to arrange our Apple loops or our samples. Now, when I talk about arranging it, all I'm doing is taking this and these, this loop. Okay. And I'm going to format it in a way where it flows as an actual piece of music instead of just a loop. Okay. So you want it to have an intro, uh, you know, a verse hook chorus, or, you know, those different sections of an actual song. So, the first thing to do is actually listen to it. OK, you might want to adjust the volume up or down to make sure certain instruments are not, you know, blaring too loud. But just listen to it and see how it sounds. Now, as you can hear, it sounds pretty cool. It actually sounds very different or unique. But the thing about this is, is you don't want this to kind of drag on like that on and on and on. You want it to give some type of variation. So what you're going to be do doing is actually using some of these editing techniques that I taught you in the uh, uh, previous lecture. So what I would do is I would actually copy all of my loop, move this playhead to the end of the actual loop, and then push Command C to copy it and Command V to paste it. Now, what you could do is, is you could just keep on pushing Command V and it's going to drag your loop out um, a little farther. Now, usually with background music, all right, it's not as long, okay? Um, so, what we're going to do is, I'm just going to actually push on here. This is the display mode. If you push time, you can see exactly how long it is, a minute, 20 seconds. That usually works pretty well. So what I would do is I want to create an intro. What I would do to create an intro is I would first mute out everything and this maybe still put a loop on and push play. What you would do is you would just practice bringing in different parts of your Apple loop here and to see what parts would be best to come in at certain parts. So, for instance, I'm just going to play this first. So I think that it would sound good for this um, this bass in bass line to come in. So what I would do is. I don't want it to come in, you know, only I only want it to come in basically right there where this playhead is. So what I would do is I use the trim feature. So I'll push command T to trim this and then click on it and delete this part out. So and then I would listen to it again. And so as you can he see here, I, okay, I want the drums to come in right here. You can come over here and zoom in or zoom out by coming up to this little line right here, zooming in, zooming out. But I wanted to just take like one measure before the next part of the song and bring the drums in. So I would zoom in here, move the playhead to one measure before, and push Command T. That's going to trim this. You can also do it by going to your edit. Split regions. Okay, it's going to split it or trim it. All right, and then I'm, I just move left or right by taking this over your trackpad. Take two fingers to move over your trackpad on your on your computer or your Apple mouse. You can move your finger left or right to move this. Okay, but you just click here and push delete. All right, and so now we have a pretty good intro. Now, when the song actually comes in, I want to bring in this new sound. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this loop and move this over here and this is going to play as the chorus. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this and delete this. And now this part is going to play when we go into the chorus. So what I'll do is I'll move this playhead to like right here so we don't have to listen to to the begin listen to it from the beginning, excuse me. And I'm going to push play and we'll see how it sounds going into the chorus. <laughs> Now, 
Now, if you want, you this is where you could take this other part out. Just because you know you don't want it to keep on go doing the same thing over and over and over again. So what I would do is just clicked it, took it out, and now it's going to go into like a verse part. It's going to bring this back over here. Or if you want to, you can actually, I'm going to push um, undo by pushing command Z. I can take this little part out and just have this part going in for the verse. Okay, and see, as you can see here, now we're bringing back in the chorus, okay? And you just basically got to play with it and just see what parts work best for what parts. But basically, I'm going over kind of some basic principles here. Usually what I do is I mute out the whole the whole track here. I make sure I put each section into a loop, okay? And I begin to unmute the different sections to see what instruments or what loops sound best for the section. Okay, so if you're working on the chorus, you would start bringing in your different loops one by one, and you can trim, edit, or delete, or copy and paste, whatever you want as you go, all right? Now, technically, this, this particular um, loop is not finished, and we might have to actually extend it. So what I would do is come over here to the very end where you see this little triangle and extend this out some more because I don't want it to end so abruptly. If this ends right here, it's gonna be kind of abrupt. So what I wanna do is create an outro, okay? And so what I could do to create this outro is copy by highlighting everything, pushing Command C, and then move this playhead to the end of that measure, push paste, and now that's, you know, that's pasted over here. And so what I wanna do is create an outro. Again, the outro, you know, is done the same way all the other sections of the song is, are done. It's pretty much, you know, you listen to it, you audition it. So you can just have maybe just the drums and the bass, or you can just cut out the drums. So that's good enough for the outro. So what I would do is I would just delete the drums. And voila, you know, you have your song, your your track arranged into a song. Now, if you want it longer, of course, what you could do is you could take this and extend it. And so instead of putting this um, outro right here, I could have repeated the verse. And let's just do that real quick. I'll just delete this, highlight the verse and the hook. And then I'm going to push Command C to copy it, bring the playhead to the end of that and pushing command V to paste it. Now you just extended your song. Okay. And then you can come over here to the very end. Zoom in and you can extend it by coming over here to this little triangle. All right. Extending that triangle out, and then I can repeat this uh, basic outro like we did before. So I'll push Command C, push Command V, all right, and take out the drums. And now, if we come over here to display mode and go down to time, we can see oh, this is about a two minute and 24 second long track. Um, you know, my video is about that long too, so cool. Um, so this is a basic arrangement. So that's how you do it, start to finish. Thanks for watching.